everybody, my name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. All October long on Wednesdays, I will be posting a new Halloween craft video so that by the end of the month you have enough crafts to decorate your house for Halloween. Today we are going to make spider webs. You'll just need a few things to do this project. Number one, you're going to need a paper plate. This is going to be the base of our spider web. You're also going to need for your spider something to make the body. I have a black poofy craft pom-pom and then something for the eyes. I have googly eyes, but if you don't have googly eyes, you could use some paper or stickers or really anything else to make your eyes. You're also going to want a piece of paper to make your spider's legs. And then to make sure your spider can stay together, you're going to want some glue. I would recommend liquid glue for gluing something like the googly eyes onto the pom-pom body versus a glue stick. But if all you have is a glue stick, that can work too. You're also going to need a hole punch and some scissors, as well as some yarn to make the actual web. The yarn can be any color that you like. I just happen to have purple. Lastly, one thing that you can use, this is optional, is the base of our spider web, our paper plate, is going to be black or really any color that you like. So you can choose if you want to paint the paper plate with some paint, or if you don't have paint or just don't wanna get out the paint and make that mess, you can use markers or crayons or anything that you want to color your plate. So once you gather your materials, we can get started. The first thing that we're going to do is decorate the base of our spider web. So that's going to be our paper plate. What you want to keep in mind is that we are going to be cutting out this middle section. So whether you're painting or using crayons or markers, you don't have to color this middle section. Anything inside this circle that I'm drawing. I'm going to be using a marker to color mine, but again, if you want to use paints, please feel free. The next step is going to be to cut out this middle circle. So in order to do that, you're going to need to poke a hole into your plate to get your cut started. Make sure that you ask an adult or older person at home for help to poke that hole, and then you will just cut out this middle part. This is where the majority of our spider webbing is going to go. This is just scratch paper. Um, you could use this to make the legs for your spider instead of using a different piece of paper or for any other craft project that you have, but we'll just put this aside. You have this, your base, and you're going to take your hole punch and you're going to punch holes around the outside of the circle. You can put them as far apart or as close together as you like, that is up to you. The one thing you wanna make sure that you don't do with your hole punch is punch it too close to the edge. See this one I did a little too close and now I won't be able to thread anything through because there's nothing connecting it. So you wanna make sure that you don't do that. In fact, I'm going to punch a hole a little higher up so that we have another hole there. Next, you're going to take your yarn, whatever color you like, and you are simply going to start weaving it through the holes. So you can cut out a length of yarn beforehand if you like, or if you wanna make it a really complex web, you can wait until you're all done. I, just for ease of use, am going to cut out a length. So you can start anywhere that you like, and you want to pull it across your plate so that you start to make the webs through the center. If you do it just right next door, you won't get these crisscrossy lines going through the middle. Okay. 
And you also wanna make sure that you're not going over, otherwise you'll be um, taking up part of the space on top. If you wanna do that, that's fine. But if you wanna make your pattern all within the kind of bowl ridge of the plate, then you need to keep it down at the bottom. You might find as you're pulling that your plate um, starts to do that, cave in on itself a little bit. You just need to stretch back out and pull some of the individual threads through a little bit. That will help to stop that effect from happening. Once you have your spider webbing the way that you like it, um, and you don't have to use all the holes. If you notice, I didn't use a few of mine. It started to get a little bit tangled inside when I was pulling through, so it was just easier for me to stop. But you could also cut your yarn and start a new weave pattern if it gets a little too tangled. Either way, you're going to want to cut off, you can flip it over, cut off any excess that you have left. And then you will want to get some tape and you can tape down these extra bits so that they don't um, flap around when you're all finished. So now I can take this extra yarn and I can go back in and finish off the couple of holes that I had left without getting quite as tangled up. And you can always do that at any point in the project if you find that it's just getting too tangly. Okay, so I have those all filled now. And now I'm going to take just a tiny bit of tape, pull that through, and tape down these extra little bits. All right, once everything's taped down, you can flip it over and you have your web. Now it's time to make our spider. So I'm gonna put our web aside for right now. And for our spider, we're going to be using whatever you have for the body. I have this little pom-pom and I have googly eyes, but again, if you don't have googly eyes, that's perfectly okay. And then I am actually going to use some of our leftover paper here to make the body. And one way that you can make the body is, I'll show you by cutting this piece of paper in half. First, if you're using a white piece of paper, you're going to want to color it or paint it so that it is the same color as your spider. Use your scissors and make little strips. and then you would just glue your spider in the middle. So here is our spider with little legs. Now we're going to glue the eyes. Like I said at the start of the video, if you wanna make your own eyes, you can do that. There's our little spider. And you can do whatever else you like to decorate your spider, but when you have your spider the way that you like, you're going to take your paper plate back with your spider web, and you're going to put your spider in your spider's new home. And there it is. And if you wanted to hang this up on the wall, you would need something on the back to secure your spider to the webbing. So you could take an extra piece of paper, um, whatever scratch paper that you have, if you wanted to put it on a different color so that you can really see the legs, or if you want to try and catch the spider in the yarn, you can weave the spider in so that it sits as well. Whatever you like to do, you can make multiple spiders for your webs. Anything that you want to make your web your own. And there you have it, a little spider web, perfect for Halloween decorating. 
Hope that you enjoy and tune in next week when we are going to be making a craft about pumpkins. See you then everyone. Bye-bye.